guys welcome back to the channel i appreciate you guys tuning in to find out more about the rp23 i know i'm not the only channel that has information about this and i'm also not the only channel who has got a series or a long video about the rp23 the main seal head you do have to pull out the o-ring now i had indicated just there that there was an o-ring on the lower side of the seal head and that seals the shock body and the oil reservoir that urethane seal that I just pulled out is very hard, so be very careful removing it. Uh, but once you get all those out, those two seals, just go ahead and clean, get that residue oil off, and then go through with a pass of isopropyl alcohol 91%, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. Installing the fresh seals, I use Slick Honey and that is really common industry-wide for suspension seals. So when you put this new O-ring in, again, it's a very hard like urethane O-ring, very hard durometer. I have to use the butt of something really stiff. That's not gonna destroy the O-ring or damage it at the same time when you install it. So I use the butt of my O-ring pick to push that into a seat. Then I find the shock body seal and the smaller one that was next to it is actually the sag indicator. So that's like the very last thing you install. Now for your bearing, which is part of the bleed valve, just stick that in there and then the bleed valve retention screw Clean the inside of the shock body. And then remove that O-ring. The IFP is made of plastic, so it can get damaged easily, so be very careful removing that O-ring. Install some fresh slick honey. Let's get that on there, lube it up again. I also like to lube up the inside of the shock body where the IFP is housed. And then slide that in there. And now we have to gauge our depth. So older shocks from Fox like this don't have published IFP depths or service procedures anymore. So I kind of have to figure it out. So this particular depth was like 2.6 inches or something like that. Anyway, so I've made this IFP pusher with a carbon handlebar that allows me to get the right depth as long as I'm careful. Now it's time to install the pellet. Make sure this chamfer side is down and the square side is up. Push it in. And then installed the valve. For more content like this, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.